Hello everyone. Welcome to Power Automate Desktop Tutorial with Level Up Tech. So in this video, like we are going to build our very first bot using the Power Automate Desktop. So let's see what we are going to do. First, let's go through the agenda and then let's get started with building the bot. Okay. So I'll walk you through the agenda for this session. So the first one. The very first one is like we are going to display a hello world message to the end user. Okay, the end user when I say it is us. Okay, so we are going to build a bot that is going to display the message hello world. Like in other programming languages, we will be getting started with this hello world, right? So similarly, here also we will be going to do the same. And the next one is like we will be going to get some input from the user and we are going to print that particular thing with the help of power automate desktop so let's see like how we can perform this task using power automate desktop so here we have the new flow button right so here you can click on new flow or else on the left top of the screen also you will be having the option to create a bot that is like new flow so you can click on new flow over here and here we have to give the name so the name should be always descriptive like whatever thing that you are going to perform right the business process so just with the name they have to understand like what we are going to do so here what we are trying to do we are trying to display something right so what is that something that is like we are going to display some message so i will be naming my bot as display message bot and I'll hit on create. So now it will fire up my power automate design panel. Okay. So it will take some time like uh, 30 seconds or one minute. So now it got fired up. Now what we are going to do? This is our first agenda, right? Like displaying the hello world message. So on the left hand side, if you see actions, so using this particular actions, we can call this as actions or comments or activities, whatever. You you wish okay but in power automate the terminology is actions so we are going to make use of this particular action to perform our task so here we want to display the message so the activity name in power automate to perform this particular activity is display message okay so now i'm going to drag this particular activity and drop it in the middle of the panel or else if you do double click also that also will do okay so now i'm going to drag and drop so as soon as we drag and drop, it is taking us to the properties panel. So here the first one, these are all the properties which is available for the display message activity. Okay. So what this activity is going to do, you can see the description also over here and also some more information will be available in this hyperlink. So here you can see it, what it is going to do. It is going to display a message box, right? So here it is. So when it says displays a message box, it, when we are going to run our bot, it is going to open a separate prompt window. That is a pop-up window. Okay. So for that pop-up window, what title which we need to give? So how I'm telling like what, uh, what we have to give here. So if you see this information icon, you can see the text to use as the message box title. So we will be going to get us a pop-up window for that pop-up window. What title we want to give? So that title you can provide it over here. So I will be giving it as display message. So now this part is done and what you want to display. Our agenda is to display hello world, right? So I'm going to give it as hello world over here. So whatever we are going to give in this particular field that will be getting displayed to the end user. And here we have message box icon. So as we already know, like when we run the bot, it will open a pop up window that we already know and that icons, right? Whenever we open this, like similarly here, we have information icon, right? And sometimes like when we have some issue with the Excel that time and all, we will be getting warning icon. So similarly here also, you have the ability to choose some of the icons over here. Okay. So now I will go with I that is information icon and here you have message box buttons so when it is going to open that prompt window so there will be some buttons also will be available okay so for now we have only ok button and as soon as we 
open this drop down you will be able to see the combination of buttons okay for now i'll go with yes or no button okay so we will be getting yes button and also the no button and the next one is default button so here we will choose first button so when i'm going to run the bot that time i will show you like what it means okay and uh, for now we will leave these two properties as disabled state only okay and uh, see what it is producing it is producing a variable also that is nothing but button pressed okay so here we are going to press on some button right so that particular buttons text like if you are going to press yes button then that particular text will be getting stored in this particular variable button pressed okay so now i am going to click on save so as soon as we hit on save on the right hand side in the variable section you can see flow variables that is button pressed it was created by this particular activity display message correct so now i am going to run our very first bot that was built using power automate desktop so let's see like how it is going to act as you can see like we have given the icon like information right so that's the reason we are getting this info button okay and here we had given the window title as display message so that has been reflected over here and whatever window message the message which we have given that is also been shown over here and here we have enabled those two combinations right yes and no button so here if you see the yes button is bit highlighted in the blue color why it is highlighting in the blue color if you have observed correctly here if you see right in the default button we have chosen first button okay so that's the reason it is just highlighting that uh, yes button alone when we make this a second button right now we will be seeing the no button get highlighted in the blue color icon okay so that is what that particular default button property does and we have to see two more properties one is keep message box always on top what this is going to do if you are not sure about what this activity is going to do you can always come to this i icon and you can verify so what this is doing specify whether message box should always remain on top of all other window or not suppose now we are in power automate application and if we move to some other application also right whether that prompt window should open up there or it should remain in the background only if this particular option is enabled irrespective of any application we are in right so it will show over there also but if this is disabled then it will be shown in the back end only background only we will be not able to see in the foreground screen and till now we are clicking the close button or the cancel symbol which is on the pop up window right suppose if we wish to close that particular pop up window automatically then we have to enable this particular property so that we will be getting the time out so after how many seconds you want me to open that's what power automator is asking so now i am giving 3 seconds so now i will click on save one more time i'll do a run so this time what it does is like after 3 seconds if you are not doing any action also it will get closed automatically because we have enabled that particular option okay so this is what display message activity will do and uh, now coming to our second agenda that is like we have to get the input from the user right so that input has to be displayed so to get the input from the user which activity we can use is this particular activity display input dialog so what this activity is doing it is again it is also going to show a dialog box asking what to enter with the user okay so now i'll be dragging this particular activity bit above of this display message because we need to get the input from the user and that input only we need to display with the help of display message right so again here also we need to pass the window title i'll mention as user information and here we will try to get the first name from the user okay and here 
it is asking input dialog message so the user has to understand right what he has to enter so we will ask the user to enter his first name so now we have asked the user and you can leave this default value as empty or you can give any value also okay when user is going to give some value right the default value will be getting overridden okay and here we have input type so when user is going to enter some value either it is going to have a single line or it is going to have a multiple line like a paragraph or it is going to contain password so for now it is going to be a single line right so i'll be choosing single line and again here also we have this particular property keep input dialog always on top so wherever if we move towards the other screen also this particular message box will come over there and we can provide the input over there so now i will enable this also and this particular activity is producing two more variables what are all those one is user input so whatever information that user is going to enter like the user is going to type some first name right so that information will be available in this particular variable user input again this particular activity also will have some button okay that button will be getting stored that button's text will be getting stored in this particular variable and uh, if you wish to change this variable name yes we can do it how we can do it just click on that particular variable and uh, you can change it to button press also okay because already we have button pressed now you can go with button press and if you want to disable this particular property also we can do it by disabling this particular thing okay for now we don't need this particular variable to be passed anyway so i'll be disabling it and we can click on save so now our value whatever user is entering as his first name that will be getting stored in this user input variable this particular variable will hold the value right so now we are going to display that particular value so earlier we have displayed this hello world instead of that this time we are getting the input from the user and storing it in the variable and we are going to call that variable over here how we can call it just click on this x icon this is select variable icon so just click on this and you will be able to see the list of variables which got created so these are all the two variables which got created right on the right hand side you can see button pressed and the other one is user input so now we need this particular variable correct so we'll choose this so once we choose this it will come like this percent user input percent this is how we will be calling the variable okay and we can click on save now if we run the bot it will display a prompt window asking enter your first name so we will enter it as our channel name that is level up tech and once we click on ok this message see the user input has the value level up tech and it got closed automatically why it got closed automatically because we asked power automate to close this message box after three seconds that's the reason it has closed automatically okay so let me run it one more time and then show you the result and you can see we are in the same message over here and again it will be getting closed so now we are completed with our day one agenda so that's all guys for this video stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you